In this video trailer, we're gonna look at five traps to avoid when in a fire hose of information from news sources. Stay tuned. Hey traders, so we've done a full swing. If you look back in the 1930s, Jesse Livermore, etc., they were looking for news, they couldn't get news. It took ages to get news to them purely because the technology wasn't there. Even when he would execute a trade, it would take ages for him to get a report of a fill back. Whereas now, we have gone a full circle. We now have so much news, so much information at our fingertips, it's become a problem in itself. So, five traps to avoid when in a fire hose of information. What do I mean by a fire hose? When you've got that fire hose on and you've just got so much information firing at you that you don't know what to do. You've got to dial it down. You've got to try and work out what's good and what's not. Let's have a look. So filtering out useless sources. So the trap you can get into is that you have every single source on every single news feed, whether that's t television, whether that's your notifications, whether it's this or that. So filter out the ones that you know are useless, you know are purely sensational. That's a good place to start. Start off by saying, I know that's not very good. No, it's not very good. I know it's not very good. The trap to fall into is you have everything on because you wanna miss something. The second one, fear sells headlines. The trap is that you look at the headline and you take it at face value. So markets might be down, uh, you know, a few percent off the highs and there'll be a massive headline that says, you know, the markets are in the tailspin, they're getting smashed. The same, you know, we see this with the pound, the pound slides aggressively and you just look at the chart and think, hang on a second, it's back to where it was on Monday. Yes, it might have rallied up a few days and come back, but. It's, they need these sensational headlines to sell news. And our job as traders and investors is to stay as cool and as calm, as collected as possible. What we don't need is emotional headlines being forced on us that are encouraging us to take some action. We want to observe and assess what's actually happening, the facts, not what some spin someone's putting on to get the click, to get the view. Because ultimately guys, these, these are in business, they're not in business to make money from stock trades. They're not in business to make money from short-term trading, day trading, investing. They're in the business to make money from eyeballs on them, which they can then sell advertising space to. So we have to have that in the back of our minds. So the second trap, is watching out for fear. Fear sells headlines, don't succumb to fear. And generally, if, if a headline is really fear-mongering, stick them in number one, which is they go in the filter that filters out and put it as a useless source. Right, number three, ignore the latest soap, soap opera. So the trap is that you get sucked into the latest soap opera. What do I mean by that? So there's always something, right? There's always something. There's always something they can create a big hysteria hype around. Someone's got this court case, something's happened here. Someone said this, someone said that. And they make a big thing on it. They go around all these different angles. And often it's a complete irrelevance. You know, what you care about is will that affect the price of the asset that I'm trading? Yes, it potentially will. Maybe I'll take some interest. No, it won't. Get it out the door. Do not have that there. So the third trap is not ignoring or getting sucked in to these little mini soap operas of stuff that's going on. Ignore it, don't get sucked into it unless you know that it's got some potential to move the asset you're trading and only then don't get sucked into the whole hysteria of it. Look at the facts and make your own decision from it. Okay, number four, uh, the trap you could fall into here is looking at hysteria and not history. So use history as a guide. In other words, when you see these hysteria, uh, you know, hysterical headlines that are saying, this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. Just stop, think. Don't fall into the trap of immediately reacting to that. Look at history and say, hey, what happened when we had the first uh, interest rate hike after having nothing? What happened when we had the first, um, you know, change in governance here, whatever it may be? And looking and saying, well, these are the potential options. These are what I expect to happen. This is what could happen. This is what might not happen. And then crafting an investment or trading thesis around that, as opposed to just 
diving for emotion. If you're a subscriber to the channel, by the way, appreciate your support. If you are, you may have seen videos that talk about psychology. We do a lot of that on this channel as well, where you know we're trying to stop ourselves acting emotionally and instinctively, and, and that using that you know reptile brain, so to speak. And that's what these headlines are doing. They're firing at our reptile brain, saying fear, greed, all this kind of stuff. You do know, see you see headlines, and you know as I said something like. Um, Everyone's getting rich with Bitcoin and you're not. Uh, but then you get on the other side, you know, markets are tanking. Watch out for your port retirement portfolios. Both of those are trying to get your uh, lizard brain to go, oh, greed, oh, fear. And we're trying to not do any of that as traders. It's hard enough just seeing how prices are moving relative to our purchase price or sale price, let alone having that stimulus as well. So watching out for hysteria is the trap. Using history as a guide is the recommended. Okay, number five. Um, not looking at the trap. The trap for number five is not looking at independent sources that look at both sides. It's looking at one-sided uh, information. The, there are good news sites out there that share both sides of the argument. They are there to present the argument to you. And often these are ones that are subscription based because that's how they make their money. They're not making their money specifically by everyone watching them out of fear or whatever. There, you have to pay money and get a subscription and read articles and what have you. And they will give both sides of the argument. They say, okay, well, this is what's happening now, which could be positive. This is what's happening now, it could be negative. They've got no political bias. They're not swung to one side or the other. They've got no bias in terms of making you feel emotion. They're presenting facts. Those are the ones that you want. Those are the news feeds that you want. You want to eliminate the fire hose and put it down to just a nice tap or a nice faucet, however you guys want to call it, wherever you're from in the world. But you just want something that's manageable, that you can consume, that you can use as a tool to assist your trading and investing as a hindrance. Because the problem with all these things here, guys, is that it becomes, not only does it become a waste of time in terms of the stuff you're consuming, it actually has a negative effect on your trading and investing, which is even worse. So filtering out all that stuff, finding sources that have both sides that help you make the decision, the bullish side, the bearish argument, you look at it, you assess it, you do nothing, or you add to your position, you close your position, whatever it may be. So avoiding hysteria, I think, is the biggest theme on here. They're trying to sell on emotion. Watch out for those headlines. There's so much information out there. It's coming from social media. It's coming from the TV. It's bombarding us. Cut it all back. In fact, here's a, a tip for you guys. Step one, cut everything off. Step two, add one feed that you think might be useful. Then step three, run with that for a while. If you feel you need to add another one, add another one. Go up rather than coming down. At the end of it, you might have one or two news sources that you trust, you like, and that contribute to your investing research or your trading research, and then you're in a perfect position. You're utilizing, you're using them, they're not using you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.